All right. What we're going to do today is we're going to look at the St. Louis County, Minnesota GIS land viewer map, accompanied with some other websites that we can do some really neat historical stuff. Look at the area around Hitby and Chisholm, anywhere you really want to in St. Louis County, uh, to see how the, the landscape and uh, everything has changed over the years. They have provided all of the um, aerial view pictures from the 1937, 1941 years. So I'll go through and uh, show you some of that stuff. So I'm on my laptop, it's kind of a slow one, but I'll just do a quick little uh, overview of, first off how to find it obviously is gonna be St. Louis County GIS. It's the easiest way for me. It'll bring up a bunch of other things, but that's County Land Explorer, St. Louis County. That's what you're going to want. Click on that. It'll bring you to their home page for their their maps. There's other maps on here too that are available, but this is a I play with this one quite a bit. It's really fun. Click on that land, County Land Explorer. It'll bring up this, and it'll prompt you to. Click on their disclaimer here. So hopefully this is legal for me to do. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so then you get the outline of St. Louis County. Pretty gigantic chunk of earth there to cover. You can see right up in this area, that's all, that's all the mines. That little dot there is going to be the Hibbing Taconite. Uh, tailings basin and you can see the long open pit actually goes all the way over to Itasca County for key tack and then hip tax on this side of course uh, this is all Mintac property up here and then their tailings basin little specks all through this area so you can zoom in using the plus sign up here and bring you in but it'll bring you to the center of the map where you can find an area like we want to be around the Hibbing area because where I live and I'm interested more in what goes on here than anywhere else I guess so I was zoom in by just double clicking on the screen once you get into a certain viewpoint it'll start labeling everything things will make a little bit more sense once you do this a few times too you're obviously going to be able to just know what what's going on so uh, <clears throat> quick little peek at like Hibbing here. You know this is modern time. Sometimes you get some clouds obscure. This is all satellite stuff. <clears throat> the nice thing about this map is you can come up to the right hand side up here. There's this little four square square. It'll bring up more base map options. You can default imagery with labels. Just streets so there's no pictures involved at all, all sorts of different, uh, you can go back to 2007, 2016, 2013, 1937 to 1941, that's, that's the fun one, because then you're looking at Hibbing today, click on that, and then you're looking at 1937 and 1941, instantly changes, it's, it's really neat if you, like historical stuff you want to look at different things <clears throat> so I'll scroll back up and come back to modern time it's easier to find things on the map that you can relate to that you can see <clears throat> like if you come in North Hibbing what's left of it this so this picture is probably gonna be a year old you most of you know you can see the ramp coming up had not come up to the visitor station yet so now the visitor center is up here on top of this hill. Where's this one? I think it's on this one. I haven't looked in that too much. You can see the visitor center is still there. So now it got moved, yeah, up on top of this hill here. <clears throat> but if you just look at that, you can see now you can see all these squares. This is going to be properties. That's 40 acres, 
that's more than 40 acres and you click on it it's going to show you who owns it you could you can look up parcel tax lookup and property details there's a lot of information on there so it's not, in my opinion it's probably too much information when you get to like people's homes and stuff like that but you know they could be useful too i suppose <clears throat> so if we go back 1937 1941 north hibbing still there pretty thriving little place kind of getting consumed on this side a little bit you know but quite a bit of it's still there they started moving it obviously by then but when you come back that's all that's left you kind of cycle through and you kind of find little spots. Like for whatever reason, it's probably a railroad grade over here that was marked off. You can see that if you cycle back through, it's still <clears throat> marked on the map that way. Sometimes if you're just scrolling through this map, you can come across really weird markings like that. You can find some neat things you weren't expecting to find. There's little things like that all over the place. You can zoom in on, like, let's say, Kitsville. <clears throat> you can see where the old highway used to go through. That's still marked off, too. You know, the Albany Underground was all back in here. My grandfather worked there back in the day. You can see kind of how the old road went through there. Go back to default. You just click and drag the map as you're going and sometimes you accidentally click on things you don't mean to information will pop up but remember the old highway 5 they just rerouted that a couple years ago you can still see where that used to run up there they mined out quite a bit up here it looks pretty cool so go back in time again You can see 169 still isn't even running through there. It goes through the old area, and then it went up to, uh, I can't remember what that intersection is called right now. Ting Town. So 169 still ran around that. It's obviously Mark 5 now, but. I just have to click on it again. Yeah, you come back out. Go back to default. Modern times. All sorts of interesting stuff in there that happened over the years. It's a long time span, so. <clears throat> Iron World, 169. Everybody drives on that. I can't remember what that old metal thing sticking out of the ground is, but. Everyone sees that as they're going between Chisholm and, and Buell, right around this area somewhere, on the bike, off the bike trail. There it is. You can see it right there, right on that. You can see the shadow of it and everything. So you can come back in time again. <clears throat> you can see it again right there. And then there's the old, was that the uh, Morton location? So 169 runs right through those that line there. Use that plus sign to zoom in a little bit. You can see where 169 runs right through where that town used to be. We got uh, yeah Monroe. And that's what Monroe. This is a vegetable garden that was in Monroe back in the day. That's what it would look like. Some of the nicer houses were there, I guess. It, I saw some pictures of some of them that got moved out of there. Some of them got torn down, but I guess parts of that town was pretty nice. I'll we'll zoom back out. Get back up here. Modern imagery. Quite the changes. Person can have a lot of fun on this thing. Just scrolling around, looking at different things, you know. There's a lot of really interesting historical things that happened, you know, all through all this whole area. Wasn't even really totally mined out yet. If you go back to 1937, 
thought it was underground still. So. But hopefully, go on here, play around a little bit. I'm going to try and do some more of these. This is the first time I've ever done anything like this. So, um, once I post it in a certain spot, maybe you can, uh, I'll come up with a more comprehensive plan on how to show things. You know, we can go through Kitsville, name off all these locations. There's a location here, location there. There's a pool location, Lavinia. The original Hibian Raceway, that's on there. So there's lots of stuff to look at. You can see how things change over time. Modern Hibian Raceway was still a half mile there, but Pill Hill was still a pretty new mine dump. Hibian High School was pretty much brand new. Probably still, still had that new car smell going on inside. We got all these over here too. We got Penobiscot up there. And right, here, right over right here. Mahoning, Utica, Carson Lake. Back when there was actually still a lake at Carson Lake. All the way over to Kelly Lake and there's little ones that are little forgotten things. Stuff we could go over if people want me to do this. You can explore it on yourself. Lots of lots of interesting stuff on there. I gotta get a better computer. So that's it for now.